Today we're doing a review on the Nerf Rivals Helios XV3 700. Now this is basically a reshell of the Apollo, which is very nice. Now of course, Blaster is already out of the box. And this is the priming bar. It can be ambidextrous. So you could stick it in on the right side. And by pulling this piece here, you can remove it and put it on the left side. We have an access door for jams, an ambidextrous lock mechanism. And right here is the release. So when we prime it, it springs back, which is nice. And to deprime it, you push this orange piece down, deprimed. Now, then you, so you can access any jams inside. And if you want, you just push it back even more. And it is really loud, but I like the color scheme and I like the fact that they redid the Apollo for this just so you don't have this thing right here prevents you from actually aiming. But that gets to opening the box up. Now, of course, everything is in the box. As you can see, it shows the Kronos and the Phantom Mask. Now, I like the Phantom Core. I don't normally like white blasters, but I think it works with the Phantom Core line for rivals. Any other Nerf gun that Hasbro makes and they put it in white, I don't really like the color. I mean, the modulus, modulus line for Nerf is fine. Oh, they're doing less with the Elite line. Right, let's get back to this now. Of course, like the Kronos, the Helios comes with little bandoliers. Where you could be red or blue. You want to be blue? You just clip it on. To the bottom of the blaster. But personally for me, if I wanted to pick a team, I'll pick white if I'm using this. Always go the team your blaster is. Now, of course, it comes with the seven dart or seven ball magazine. It's like the number. Because how this works is this is the year it came, the blaster was released, and this is how much ammo it comes with. And how they do that. So whenever the blaster came out is how that works. We get these open. Should have used a knife. And of course, all you do is load them in. As always, we get have to get the one they show. Now, of course, here's the instructions. If you want to know how it works. 
We can use the instructions. I only had to look at this once. And that was just figuring out how to remove this. Because I didn't think it they could come off or on. But that's all I had to do for that. And of course, when you load it in, we have clip it now and now it's primed. Locking mechanism, of course, keeps it from firing. And we have, now if we should not, yep, does not fire when the jam door is open. And of course, when we push this down, we can access inside to do with any jams. That occur. And by pushing it back into place, we have the round still loaded in. Now let's get to the firing portion. Still, the jams are still on. There we got one over there. Definitely like this blaster a lot. And it is worth picking up. Especially for the Rivals line. I really do like the Rivals line ever since they came out with them. So yeah, that's going to be it for this review. Want to see more stuff like this? Just subscribe and I'll see you next time.